Welcome back to Monster Camp. I'm Hit Girl, and hopefully today we are going to get a special meteor date with Damien. We're doing well so far, we've got every single answer correct, so fingers crossed that we don't mess it up on these last three. Or is it last two? Oh, this might, this might be a very short video actually, because we might only have um, two things to do. I don't remember the full span of this game, but let's get into it, let's get started. I'm excited. Okay, so we're going... In case you missed it, the two drinks that I got were a pair of beer boots, which gave a boost to the manor. It said a random location, it chose the manor, which is perfect because boldness is what we need for Damien. And then the second drink I got was a stat smoothie, which boosted all of my stats, so that's why everything is so high. I'm hoping that means that there's no way that I can lose now, but you never know with this game. So we're going to hop back in. That day you find a mirror in the haunted manor, but instead of showing your reflection, it shows you an exaggerated evil version of yourself. Evil you says. You will never surmount your insecurities. Look at how perfect I am, and look at how flawed you are. Nobody will ever love you. Counterpoint. Many of your perceived flaws are totally fabricated by greedy companies looking to make a profit by promising to fix things you literally can't control. As soon as you say that, evil you shrieks bloody murder and disappears. Nice. You gain plus four boldness because you're amazing just the way you are. And I hope everyone who listened to that took it to heart because you are all amazing just the way you are, guys. You faintly hear what sounds like haunting classical music and murmured whispering, par for the course at the haunted manor. But then you hear a familiar anime scream. Gah! Gah! You're all idiots! We can't open our, co our concert with a forgotten tomb song. They're not cool at all. That's why they've been forgotten. That's a very interesting outfit, Dahlia. So, I do have the winter clothes setting on my game at the moment, and I think that might be Dahlia's winter outfit, which, if that's the case, that's hilarious. Because look, look how cute Damien and Joy are in their little winter outfits, and then, like, Dahlia's just, like, dressed up to the nines in, like, this warrior get-up. Okay, moving on. It looks like your friends are in a room surrounded by Victorian ghosts having a party, and your friends look pretty freaked. Are they scared of ghosts? Ugh. What? No, not at all. We have literal classmates who are ghosts, Hugo. Welcome to the witching hour. You may remember that Damien, Dahlia and I are all in a screamo band called Ventagram. It's pretty fun. Shrieking semi-coherently into the microphone is actually a good way for me to relieve stress. <gasps> the problem is, these Victorian ghosts hire us for their annual temporary return from purgatory party here in the Haunted Manor, and we can't decide what to open with. <gasps> this is gonna make our break make or break the entire concert. The opening number is pretty much the only song anyone will be sober enough to listen to. You can't help but inquire about the logic of spirits from the 1800s hiring a screamo band for their concert. Hmm. Well, I don't think they're always like screamo, but being condemned to an eternity of purgatorial torture tends to affect your aesthetic taste. What a noob. Yeah, have some fucking compassion, noob. Uh... Anyway, back to business. I agree with Damien. No Forgotten Tomb cover. The best Screamo cover is obviously Dangerous Woman by Ariana Grande. Typical. Dahlia, just because you scream the lyrics to Ariana Grande songs doesn't make them screamo. Fucking metal! Agreed. Let's do Your Makeup Is Terrible by Alaska Thunderfuck. At least six of those words in that song are like my entire vocabulary. Enough of this. Neither of you know what you are talking about. 
I'm the leader, damn it. I get to decide what songs we do. <sighs> oh, fuck this conversation. I'm starting to... I'm setting the amp on fire. <sighs> Damien, no! That's a rental! My, my Damien and my Dahlia are very similar, but they are both demons. So, you have... There's nuances here. I swear, I swear there's nuances. They are not the same voice, okay, maybe they're the same voice. But it's okay, we'll get over it. You'd better solve this argument before these spirits get sick of your antics and start doing Victorian ghost shit, like throwing vases and huffing opium. What song should your friends open the concert with? The best song to open with is an anime opening, and the best anime opening is without a doubt a Cruel Angel's thesis from Evangelion. Victorian ghosts are called that because they love Victoria, Victoria Adams, aka Posh Spice. You should do a screamo cover of Wannabe. I don't know which one of these is the right answer. I'm gonna go with anime because they referred to Damien's scream as an anime scream. Oh, yes! Ha -ha. Yeah, that's an awesome idea! Nothing gets me hyped up to crush my enemies like an anime opening, especially the opening of Evangelon. <laughs> I never thought I'd say this, but I'm with Dahlia on this one. Evangelon fucks hard. But you guys, a cruel angel's thesis isn't a screamo song. Who cares? They're giant fighting robots, Evangelon Joy! Giant fighting Robots! Mm -hmm. Well, actually, I'm more into the whole sad yet insightful trip into existential dread of the crushing pressure of a boy endures from the high school expectations of a paternal figure. Brad! But also, yeah, giant fucking robots! Fighting robots, sorry. <laughs> but. Joy, Joy, stop! I don't think you heard us properly. Giant fighting robots. My goddess. Oh my goddess. Fine. I'll sing the damn song. It will get you two to shut the fuck up. You're lucky I'm half Japanese and can actually sing the lyrics. Your friends perform a screamo cover of the Cruel Angels thesis. It's actually quite good. You wonder if Victorian ghosts will appreciate an anime opening theme. Once the song ends, they're crying tears of joy. That was beautiful, the ghosts cry. You see, we are trapped forever in purgatory as punishment for the horrible, treacherous acts we committed when we were alive. And we reappear in the haunted manor once a year for this party. But for the rest of the year, we're stuck in eternal torture. Watching and re-watching Evangelon without ever truly understanding its meaning. It's a horrific curse. Uh -huh. Oh. Well then, sorry we, um, reminded you of your never-ending torment. No, no! While Evangela herself might be an unending nightmare, its opening theme is still pretty catchy. Every cloud has a silver lining. Somehow it looks like your friends reminded the Victorian ghosts of the best part of their eternal torture, which puts them in a super good mood for the rest of the concert. You get blasted on Ghost Opium watching the performance, and your friends fucking kill it. What a night! You gain plus two boldness and plus one fun. Ooh, one more, one Can more! Can I just skip turn and take a nap? Okay, let's let's finish how we've done this whole game. Let's go to the manor again! Whoop, whoop. That day in the haunted manor, you accidentally stumble upon a cult meeting in the hallway. The cultists are wearing terrifying black robes, Standing over a bloodied body and chanting, you try to flee, but one of them shoves a flyer in your hand. The ink burns your eyes to read, but you manage to find the words, New recruits get he healthcare benefits with same day sign up. What? Sold. You get a bunch of new cultist buddies, and your new insurance covers spontaneous plus bonus gross. Cool. You're wandering through the woods, hoping to meet some slutty pine cones, when you see Damien! Listen up, noobs! Hey, dumbass, come here, check out my fucking trap! 
is crouched down on the ground and seems to be petting the dirt. Actually, you kind of psyched you here. I thought that you'd do that cute thing where you're super dumb sometimes, so I'll explain. You know about wildfires, right? And by wildfires, obvious, I mean fires that run wild in the forest, like the ones I've been trying to catch all summer. Well, I'm about to catch one. Brad! Using this awesome hole in the ground that I covered with leaves and shit. So the next time a wildfire runs over here, it'll fall into the hole, boom, and then I'll catch that wildfire to be my pet, and we'll have an unbreakable bond for life. <sighs> God, I can't fucking wait. That wildfire is gonna look like I'm such a noob when it falls in. Ah, now come on, hide this tiny bush with me until I, until a wildfire runs by. You take one look at the bush. It's super small. Hiding in there with Damien is going to require some real close quarters. You thirstily follow right behind him. And surprisingly, no one. And surprising no one, you both step on Damien's trap and fall into the hole. Fucking metal! Whoa, fuck yeah! My trap is so good that it even tricked me, its own creator. That's pretty fucking metal hole. Damien pats the wall of the hole with pride. It's huh? adorable. Oh my god, wait! If this hole was gonna trap a wildfire, we just fell into it. Wait, holy shit, are we trapped in this hole? We're fucking lost! I made this trap myself, so obviously there's a 0% chance that anyone can escape it. There's literally no point even trying to get out. Fuck! I'm just gonna state the obvious. We're definitely gonna fucking die in this hole. Are you listening to me, Hugo? We will die here. Hmm. At this point, we just gotta accept the truth and try to adjust to our new lives in the hole. I'm officially making this corner of the hole our bathroom. Wow, Damien is definitely committed to your new hole lifestyle. Be rude not to follow suit. Quick, adjust to your new living situation and make the best of it. Okay. Attract the morbid, in morbid interest of mass media to cover your tragedy. Maybe they can throw you some free pizza. Is this hole so different from your normal life? Aren't we all trapped in a hole called society? The best you can do is give a hole a cool name like Fuckberg. Oof. I think I'm going with this one. <gasps> yes! Haha! <laughs> that is uh, everything correct. We're getting a date, baby! Whoa! I never thought about it like that. Yeah. We are trapped in the hole of society, and now we're in a hole inside that hole. That's so deep. <laughs> and I've always wanted to rename society Fuckbook, but apparently you can only rename society if you're the vice president. That's Damien style, baby. So I officially declare myself vice president of this hole, and I officially declare this hole to be known as Fuckburg, baby. You and Damien go to work starting the new society of Fuckburg. Along with being the Vice President, Damien declares himself Chief of Ass and Security of Infrastructure. Infrastructure. You both work hard to institute a constitution of rights for Fockbird citizens, as well as an official calendar of national holidays. You're really looking forward to March 3rd, which is Fockbird's official make a sweet hot love to the other person in the whole day. A few days later, some reporters show up to cover the heartbreaking tragedy Two hot young adults trapped in a big hole. Fuckberg forever! Psh! You reporters have big juicy asses on, in your head instead of brains. You're the one trapped in a hole. We're free down here in Fuckberg. Fuckberg forever! The reporters leave. Later you're watching the news on the TV you built from hole, hole wall and scraps. You're the engineering chief of Fuckberg, which obviously gives you engineering powers. Maria here, the Channel 9 News. Fuckberg, the new home based society where hot young adults are going to escape the bleakness of modern life. Is Fuckberg just another fad? Or is it the place to be for the upcoming pre winter holiday break travelers season? Coming up, learn how to cook pizza with your feet. Huh? Holy shit, Hugo. You're the most metal press secretary that Fuckberg has ever seen. We're gonna have a bunch of rich yuppies coming here before you know it. Fuckberg forever! Let's Airbnb those yuppies till they're fucking broke! Fuckberg forever! You and Damien rent out the bathroom corner of Fuckberg on Airbnb. Damien's right, loaded hipsters are paying through the nose to stay in Fuckberg. 
Along with the flood of tourists, Fuckburn receives several requests for citizenship from different corporations and real estate moguls, along with hefty bribes. At first you're confused, but Damien explains that, as Chief of Finance, he made Fuckberg into a very effective tax haven for corporations. After a few days of milking tourists and protecting businesses from paying fair taxes, you and Damien have more money than God, because God doesn't have a bank account. Eventually, one of the Airbnb guests gets tired of falling into the hole, so they throw a rope down into Fuckberg. You and Damien climb out of the hole with all of your cash. And Damien burns up the rope, trapping everyone inside Fuckberg forever. Hugo, no matter what happens between us, we'll always have Fuckberg. Here's lucky to you, kid. You leave Fuckberg with loads of cash and beautiful memories of your days together with Damien. Your days together with Damien. <laughs> In this game, that's worth plus three fun. Fuckberg forever! Here we go, here we go. Um, uh, okay. Let's ask Damien to the meteor shower. Who will be your summer love? It's Damien. Mm. Ask Damien to go to the meteor shower. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. If you finally gather the courage and ask your beloved to watch the meteor shower with you. <laughs> you want to be my summer fling, huh? Rad. That sounds fucking rad. We can do so much dangerous shit together before school starts again. <laughs> I have so many terrible ideas on where to blow shit up that I can only do with another person. So Hugo, care to be my partner in crime? Your lawyer would advise you to say no, but your heart says absolutely yes. Oh fuck, this is nice. The last day of camp was rad. You and Damien went on a romantic hike. Damien tried to fist fight a bear, and it chased you two for several miles. But as you were sprinting away from the bear, praying for your life, Damien held your hand. Oh, how sweet. Oh, I've got two new special stuff. Okay. Well, we will check out the special stuff, shall we? Oh, we need this first. Before we knew it, those weeks were gone. It felt like a hot minute, and it felt like an entire lifetime. That night, as we saw coming, summer coming to an end, we all wondered what would come next for us. It felt like the end of something big. Little did we know, life still had many wonders and misadventures in store for us. Now I'm older, and I can see it, how those years became the foundation of the mythology of our lives. Broken hearts turned tragedies sung for centuries, wild nights became epic treasures, epics treasured forever. Every kiss and every laugh is now a constellation we'll always find while gazing into the starry night, no matter how many years go by. Okay, let's look at our special stuff. New stuff. So we've got new ending, which will be Damien. And we'll look at the different variations. So obviously that's the one we got. Only for some reason we're on top of, <laughs> of Damien's head in it. Okay, or well, whatever. Okay, backgrounds. New backgrounds. Oh, okay. Little Kenny knows his knife. Amazing. Okay, look at new characters. So we got Flodge. I don't know why Jerry is not coming up as a new character. Who else have we got? Oh. It must just be Flodge. He just hasn't registered that I've clicked on him. Yep. Don't know why it does that. There we go. Okay. New drinks. So I'll know now if I see this that yes, I want it and it's amazing. Do I have any more new drinks? Yes. Boots. That was fine. New items. Got the spork. And then new special stuff. A yeah, new favourite book.
There we go. <laughs> okay, amazing. So that's everything. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm so happy that we got a good outcome in this round uh, because three episodes and a bad outcome, that just wouldn't, that wouldn't be good, would it? So thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.